Um, you've done these debates a lot. I'm a newcomer to this, and you say that you know that there's always the who's ever the front runner usually is the target with a pinata. Uh, not, who will, not for us, for the other candidates. Who is it? Who is oh, it? Oh, it's clearly it's Gingrich. I mean, you know, Gingrich is leading in the polls. But uh, obviously, something's resonating here when they do keep attacking, right? Because his numbers have slipped. A his numbers have slipped a little bit. You know, when everybody was saying, "Well, he's peaking at just the right time," I never thought that was right. I thought. It was a little too early because there have been there was a debate on Saturday. We're going to have our debate, and there's three weeks. And if we've seen one thing in this campaign so far, it is so fluid. There is not you know rock solid support for everybody for anybody except perhaps Ron Paul, who does get his 15 if to Ron 20 percent. If Ron Paul wins here, what then? Well, the Ron Paul people are not going to like my saying this, but to a certain degree, it will discredit the Iowa caucuses because, rightly or wrongly, I think most. Republic of the Republican establishment thinks he's not going to end up as the nominee, so therefore Iowa won't count and it will go on. It would certainly be a knock to Gingrich because, you know, right now he was the front runner, or a week ago he was the big front runner in this state, so it would be a missed opportunity for him. What about Mitt Romney with all these candidates who rise and fall and this whack a mole thing that goes on with him? He's always like the constant, right? He's the constant, but I must say he was the constant at 20 to 25 percent, and all the polls now it's 15 to 20 percent, so mm. he's taken a hit too, maybe by going negative. It really does seem as if the Republican base, the Republican voters, are not really thrilled about anybody in this field. Very interesting. We'll get a good handle on that tomorrow.